This is the real truth about 432 hertz frequency and its magical power no one will tell you. You see, back in the day, music was tuned to this frequency, believed to vibrate with the universe itself. But then, boom, everything shifted to 440 hertz. Makes you wonder, if the 432 hertz frequency is so awesome, why isn't it everywhere? Why shift to 440 hertz that we use today? Who decided that and what's the big deal? Well, strap in, because this goes deep. It turns out that 432 hertz isn't just any sound. It can actually do wonders for your health. Let's wind the clock back, I mean way back. Music has been our companion for thousands of years, evolving from simple beats to complex melodies. And through it all, there's been this understanding that music isn't just art. It's a tool, a tool for connection, for healing, and for transformation. Pythagoras, the mathematician who also had a thing for music, figured out this harmony in sound, tuning instruments to what we now know as 432 hertz, long before we had the gadgets to measure it. Fast forward to Verdi, the opera genius, who also tuned his masterpieces to this natural frequency. It's like they knew something we're just starting to remember. But then things took a turn. Out of the blue, the music world shifted to 440 hertz. Some say it was to make music brighter. Others believe there is more to the story. The truth is hard to pin down. But what's clear is that this change left 432 hertz, the frequency that vibrates with nature in the shadows. Despite being edged out of the mainstream, 432 hertz music is making a comeback, thanks to folks who swear by its healing power. From reducing stress to improving sleep, the benefits are too big to ignore. And guess what? More and more musicians and healers are tuning back into this ancient sound, crafting tunes that heal not just the heart, but the body and soul. The magic of 432 hertz is out there, waiting for us to listen, to heal, and to reconnect with the rhythm of the earth itself. So, what do you say? Are you ready to explore the magic of the 432 hertz frequency and see how it vibes with you? Let me know in the comment section. Like and follow for more videos like this. If you are experiencing these five signs, then it means your third eye is open and active. The last one will shock you. First off, those repeating numbers. Ever glance at the clock and see 1111 or maybe 333? This isn't just a coincidence. These numbers, often called angel numbers, are believed to be messages from higher realms. If you're spotting them frequently, it's a strong sign that your third eye is tapping into other dimensions of consciousness, guiding you, reassuring you that you're exactly where you need to be. Next up, the power of synchronicity. Think about those moments when you suddenly think of someone and out of nowhere, they call or text you. Or maybe you've been pondering a big life question and the answer suddenly appears in the most unexpected way. This isn't just your brain playing tricks on you, it's your third eye perceiving connections and guiding you through the invisible threads that weave our lives together. Now let's talk about emotional sensitivity. Ever walked into a room and immediately felt a rush of feelings? Or sensed the mood of a crowd the moment you stepped in? This heightened sensitivity to the energies around you is a classic sign of an active third eye. It's like your own emotional antenna picking up frequencies of joy, sorrow, tension, or excitement that are invisible to the naked eye. Fourth, you might have really, really intense dreams. When you wake up, it's as if you were in that dream, like you ran a marathon, or as if it really happened, and you wake up tearful from a dream fight, that's your third eye exploring deeper realms while you sleep. These aren't just dreams, they're experiences, teachings, direct communications from your subconscious mind, helping you to learn, grow, and sometimes heal. And lastly, intuition or premonitions. Ever just know something is about to happen, and then it does? That gut feeling isn't just good luck. It's a profound connection to the universe's energy, enabled by your third eye. It's like having an internal psychic, pointing you towards choices, nudging you away from danger, and sometimes helping you to leap towards opportunities. What does this all mean for you? It means that your third eye isn't just some mystical, unreachable force. It's a vivid part of you, capable of perceiving beyond the five senses, connecting you to a network of information and energy that transcends time and space. Understanding and nurturing your third eye can transform how you interact with the world, making you more receptive, intuitive, and connected. Have you experienced any of these signs? How has it changed your perspective or your daily life? Share your stories in the comments below. Like and follow for more videos like this. One of the greatest scientists ever, Sir Albert Einstein said, everything in life is vibration. There is nothing in the universe which does not vibrate. Every single atom, molecule, each bond between atoms, all the particles in the universe, our body, earth, 
all stars, galaxies, and even the whole universe are all in constant vibration. They all are vibrating at certain frequency. Nikola Tesla, another mind-blowing scientist, told us, if we want to crack the universe's secrets, we got to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Imagine this. Our whole universe hums at a frequency of 432 hertz, and our planet Earth has its own special tune at 783 hertz. That's the Schumann resonance for you, kind of Earth's own heartbeat that keeps everything in check. Even astronauts take this energy into space to stay fit and fine. Now let's talk about how music and different sounds make us feel. Ever noticed how a certain song can lift your mood or make you sad? That's because sounds have the power to tweak our emotions. Some frequencies can even freak you out without you even hearing them, like the spooky 19 hertz frequency. On the flip side, a frequency like 432 hertz can chill you out and has healing vibes for your mind and body. Our bodies and earth vibe closely together at around 7.5 hertz. And guess what? Our emotions have their own frequencies too. What really got me was how the peace vibration is higher than even love or joy. It means being calm and at peace is super powerful. And staying neutral, not getting too caught up in things, actually keeps your energy up. Then there's desire, sitting lower on the scale, showing us it's not as harmless as it seems. It's the root of a lot of trouble and even anger. Our brain tunes into different frequencies too, depending on what we're doing. From dreaming in delta waves to solving complex problems in gamma waves, our brain's got a whole playlist for our life's activities. So yeah, everything, and I mean everything, is dancing to the universe's rhythm. Our thoughts, feelings, the stars, and even our planet. What are your thoughts on the power of frequency in shaping our perceptions and behaviors? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. Like and follow for more videos like this.